Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we have another exciting unboxing video for you. So this video is sponsored by Maybe Hives. That's M-A-Y-B-E-E -E Hives. You can check out their website at maybehives.com. So they reached out to me and they wanted to know if I would do a quick video on their 10 frame beginning beekeeper hive kit. So that's what we have here today. I said, sure, I'd be glad to show folks, uh, especially for you newer beekeepers. You're thinking about getting into beekeeping. There's a lot of tools. There's a lot of equipment out there. You're probably going to have a lot of questions. In fact, I know you're going to have a lot of questions because we all do when we get started in beekeeping and there's so many different options and tools out there. So let's go ahead and unbox this package and see what maybe has to offer for the beginning beekeeper kit. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. Now you may, if you've watched my videos, you may recall I did a previous video with uh, Maybe Hives and they sent me a double deep uh, with all the frames and uh, inner cover, outer cover, bottom board, and I believe a super. Uh, I hope to get that out in the apiary soon. I haven't had a chance yet. Of course, we're just getting started here. It's very, very early spring. It's only been spring here for a couple of days. So we're very early. But what I really like about their equipment, and I already see it here, uh, it comes with this uh, maybe your best choice. Uh, it's a nice play on words. So a little pamphlet that came with it. Um, what I really like about their equipment is it's all wax. Uh, heavily waxed for that matter. And so every crevice, everything, you can see the wax actually right here. So you can tell it's heavily waxed. And the reason why, you know, you may want to wax your wooden wear um, is for a couple reasons. Number one, it provides natural protection to the elements. So any, if you're in hard, even if you're in mild conditions, but if you're in harsh conditions where you get really, really hot days, like we do here in Kentucky, and you get some pretty cold days in the winter time and everything in between rain, snow, sleet, uh, wind damage um, from trees falling or anything else, especially where I am because I have the woods all around me. So uh, this uh, wax provides really good protection for the wood. It'll help this wood last much longer. If I remember correctly, I think maybe hives are also made out of cypress and not pine. And if that's the case, it's going to last even longer. But uh, again, I can just tell right away that this bottom board here, which is a solid bottom board, which I prefer screen bottom boards. If you watch my videos, you, you likely know that. Uh, however, you know, this is an alternative to painting your hives, which I paint all my hives, the ones that aren't maybe hives. Uh, I give them at least two to three coats of paint. Again, because I want those boxes to last a long time outdoors. If you get woodenware that's, that arrives already heavily waxed like this, you absolutely do not need to paint it. So really nice bottom board here. Uh, at least right off from the get-go, it, it looks like it's 10 frame equipment and not eight frame. So uh, let's see what else they gave us here. So this is, I wonder if this is a veil. Yeah. Okay. So we've got this B veil which is just for your head, um, which honestly can come in handy at times. Uh, <clears throat> maybe you don't want to throw your whole suit on. Maybe it's really, really hot outside. You know, it's in the <clears throat> mid nineties here or something, and you just don't want to mess with putting either your jacket on or your full B suit on. And I'm just trying to stretch this out here. And you can just grab this real quick. Now, it has these straps on the bottom, which uh, put this over. It's got this little chin strap too, which helps you keep it on top of your head if you so inclined. So it doesn't, when you bend over, it doesn't, uh, let me see here. I got to pull it here. Again, I'm trying all this equipment on for the absolute very first time. So uh, the, every, everyone's equipment's a little bit different, but you get these straps that come in the back. And the whole point is you can put them under your arms here and strap them. Probably shouldn't have worn a hoodie with this video. But you can strap them here. They buckle in like this. 
and this just keeps this just keeps and of course the same thing on the other side here. Okay. And all this does is it just keeps it pulled down, right? So it can't fly up because if you've got bees all around you, <laughs> you don't want them getting in here. So uh doesn't fit my head the greatest I, I well i stand corrected it probably just needs to be stretched out a little bit right just break it in um but you can see all around really nice uh, i can see below me really nice if i was working with the frames it just needs some work as far as breaking it in it's been in that package um but yeah really nice uh quick veil just uh to have around you may want to just keep it close to the apiary that way if you don't want to put your full jacket on um You've got this nice and handy close by. Just throw it on top of your head and you've got some quick uh, PPE there. So no, this is nice. I, you know, <clears throat> oops, you guys probably heard a lot of microphone noise there and I apologize, <laughs> but um, veils are uh, very, what I would say, uh, personal preference in terms of the style. Uh, everyone likes them a little bit differently. So you may just want to try on uh, several different kinds to see what you like, especially if you go to these conventions where they have these vendors that you can try those on, which gives you a nice benefit to see what you might like before you actually spend a lot of money and put that uh, either suit or veil on in the apiary and you decide, oh my God, I hate this. So I would encourage everyone to try different types. I like the jackets. I like the full suits. That's me personally, but... Lots of people use different ones. So, okay, let's keep going. What else do we have here? This looks like frame uh, equipment, pieces of frame. We've got foundation here, two, four, six, eight, ten. So, ten pieces of foundation. Nice and heavily waxed. I can see the wax on it pretty. I don't know about heavily waxed, but that's a good coating of wax. Uh, I would like to know what brand foundation they use. I don't know the answer to that. Okay, so we've got frame end pieces here. Uh, this is a entrance reducer. So this is going to go on the bottom front there of the bottom board. More frame end pieces. So we'll just set those aside. I mean, likely, you know, there's enough equipment here to build 10 frames. And if you've never assembled a frame before, I encourage you to watch one of my previous videos. In fact, I think it's actually the maybe video that I shot before this where I show you how to assemble those from start to finish. And I'm fairly certain in that video, I show you how to assemble frames. So... Okay, yep, these are the bottom bars of the frames. Again, I'm fairly sure that there's 10 there. I'm trying to get all these wooden pieces out. All right. So that looks good. What else is in here? Oh, this is a uh, queen cage clip. So I have a few of these myself. I like them okay. Uh, I will generally keep one of these in my front pocket on my B suit just to have uh, either this style or they also make those queen cages that are more elongated like a tube that fits in your uh, front pocket a little bit better. But uh, this is specifically designed to where worker bees can fit in between here, but a mated queen cannot. And so if you find your queen and you need to cage her for whatever reason, and there are many reasons why you may want to do that, um, this is a quick tool that allows you to do that and know exactly where your queen is. So these are always handy to have. Uh, they're, they're cheap plastic, so very inexpensive. I would recommend picking up, you know, a handful of those just to always have them on you. Uh, we've got our deep body here, which is already assembled. That's nice. Screws in it. Uh, looks good. Heavily, heavily waxed. And that's, that's nice to see that maybe Hives doesn't uh, cheap out on the wax coating because I can just tell by looking at this, it has a ton of wax on it, which it's not too much wax where it's oozing and it would be dripping everywhere, but 
it has a nice coating to where I can tell this is going to hold up in the elements, especially my friends that have uh, wax coated hives. They swear by them, of course. Uh, what else do we have here? What is this? Oh, these are little uh, nails for your frames. I always brad mine and I use wood glue, so uh, I, won't, I will not be using those. Let's set this aside because that's going to be some of the other 20, let's see, maybe beekeeping 20 pieces bee smoker starter kit. Uh, here's the inner cover. Again, also waxed. Uh, this, I don't think this is, well, uh, maybe it is waxed. That's hard to tell, but all this outer edge uh, woodenware here is waxed. And of course, complete with an outer cover. Got a nice piece of aluminum on top, which is gonna hold up well in the elements. Got these <laughs> little pieces of wax on me because there's quite a bit. Uh, and then on the inside here, this is all waxed inside. I don't, uh, nope, that is waxed. Yep, so even, even this has a coating of wax on it. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then last but not least, they have these plastic queen excluders. So those of you that don't know what a queen excluder is, is this would sit on top of your deep body where your queen is down here on the frames laying eggs, larva, brood, she's down here. If you don't want her to get up above that for any reason, even if it's a second brood chamber, you could be trying to resolve a laying worker hive. There's all sorts of reasons and, and, and um, purposes and uses for a queen excluder. Uh, the primary reason is to keep your queen from coming up and laying inside your honey super. So traditionally, you would have a deep box with your queen in the brood area down here, queen excluder on top, honey supers on top of here. And this is specifically designed with the exact proper bee spacing here to only allow worker bees, queen, uh, worker bees, females, not drones. Drones often get stuck in these, which is another reason why uh, many people do not like queen excluder, ex excluders, but that could be another video all in of itself, the pros and cons of queen excluders. So I digress. Anyway, queen cannot fit through here. So she is forced to stay below. Workers can freely move up and down into the honey supers back down and you don't get any sort of brood or eggs in your honey supers. That's the point of this. What I personally do not like about plastic excluders is over time these can degrade uh, spread a little bit and it only takes one of these I, I don't what is this 300 little tiny squares to be off for a queen to squeeze through there and make your life um, difficult let's say let's put it that way so I like the metal queen excluders, which you may have seen in some of my other videos. And those, in my opinion, tend to last a little bit longer. So if I had one recommendation for maybe hives, it's consider switching to metal queen excluders versus the plastic. I don't think they're that much more expensive, uh, but I could be wrong. Okay, that's it in terms of what's in the box. So let's get that out of the way. And then let's take a look at this beekeeping 20 piece bee smoker starter kit. And let's see what's all in here. Be careful when you're cutting into these with a box cutter. Some people just really slash into it and you could end up damaging whatever is directly underneath the box. So just, you know, I feel like that's pretty logical, but you never know exactly. Cause look what was right underneath it gloves and you don't want to cut a hole into your glove so let's take a look at these gloves this looks like a uh, synthetic leather oh i'm wrong 100 percent leather according to the tag here so that's nice uh let's see how these feel i wonder if they come in different sizes or if maybe only ships large um well, these are kind of nice all right, could definitely add these into the rotation. Um, 
maybe I wouldn't get stung as much, right? No. <laughs> I don't know. I Sometimes I like wearing gloves, especially if a uh, uh, hive is feeling very spicy for whatever reason. If it's, you know, that time of year where they're in a dearth and a lot of the foragers are back in the colony and they get really angry and they don't have much work to be doing. And so they have a lot of extra time on their hands to pay attention to the beekeeper, Mr. and Mrs. Beekeeper. And uh, they let you know that your presence is not really welcome. I'll glove up for those, but like springtime and stuff when the bees are busy and the flow is on, it's just so much easier to manage a colony and work in a colony without wearing gloves um, that sometimes to me it's a game time decision whether I personally decide to wear gloves or not. If you're brand new to beekeeping, you probably should wear gloves. <clears throat> Here's what I would say as far as a public service announcement. Number one, always, 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 always wear something over your face, at least over your eyes, because it just takes one sting to the eye to change your life forever, okay? Always wear something over your face, okay? Yes, you will see beekeepers that don't. Yes, they are taking a risk in doing so. Yes, I personally have done that as well. Um, but my official recommendation is everyone wear the proper PPE. Uh, gloves are really kind of, I mean, if you take some stings to the hands, so be it. Now, if you're allergic to bee stings, obviously, you know, maybe you should rethink this hobby. That's your call, not mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, you may not know you're allergic to bee stings. You may have taken several stings before and you can become allergic. In that case, please, you should probably talk to your doctor, your allergist, and proactively go ahead and get a couple EpiPens and keep them close by because you don't want to go into anaphylactic shock, um, you know, it, which could happen at any point in time, even if you don't think you're allergic. So that's a disclaimer. I'm going to get that one out of the way. Let's, let's uh, talk about these gloves. These gloves feel really nice, honestly. Uh, they fit my hands pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the leather feels nice. Uh, the cloth is nice. So, yeah, I mean, solid gloves. Um, certainly as good as the ones that I'm currently using. So 100% leather. I, again, I, I wouldn't have thought that, but that's nice. That's nice having that. I'm getting all these little fuzzies all over my shirt, trying to get them off. Okay, let's move on next. What is this? All right, this is a frame holder. So let's see if we can get this out of the way and show you exactly what that is. So envision your bottom board. I'm going to push this out of the way because I, I hope you can see this on camera. I'm going to pull this back towards me so I'm pretty sure that you can see it. Okay. <coughs> so obviously we don't have all the frames in here, right? But imagine there's 10 frames in here. This you take out into the yard with you and it goes right here. Okay. And the whole point of this is to give you a place to set your frames when you're pulling them out and do an inspection. So let's say I start here, I pull out frame one, okay? And I'm looking at it, got the bees on it and everything. I'm looking at the other side. Okay, I'm done assessing whatever. You set it right here. Okay, and the frame would be sitting down here. Imagine Again, imagine there's a, a frame assembled here with foundation and bees on it. And then you just do the next one, right? So you move on to your second frame, pull that one out, take a look at it. And then you can set it right here. So the whole point of this <clears throat> is to provide you a place to be able to set your frames of bees while you're working in a particular colony without setting them on the ground or setting them beside the hive, which I frequently do. I just lay them up against the side of the hive. Um, I have one of these out in the yard. I personally don't use it a lot, but I know people that do use these. So once again, personal preference. So that's what that is. All right, let's see what we have next. <clears throat> oh, hide beetle traps. <clears throat> uh, I don't use these. It's, I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but I know people that do. Um, you fill them with an oil. Uh, I think, again, I, I don't use these, so I don't have a lot of experience. Maybe like an, an olive oil, maybe apple cider vinegar. 
uh, y'all should <clears throat> Google or watch some other YouTube videos when it comes to hive beetle, uh, beetle blasters, I think they're officially called. But they sit in between frames like that, okay? And what happens is the bees end up driving the beetles down in here and they drown in the oil is essentially how you do it. And you would put them <coughs> in the hive. Sorry, it's, it's allergy season, so <clears throat> I'm having to clear my throat a lot. Between frames two and three and maybe frames eight and nine like this, opposite ends. Uh, I, I, did, I don't have hive beetle problems. I, I think the best way to defend against hive beetles is to make sure that your colonies have adequate sunlight. Not full non-stop sunlight, but adequate sunlight, meaning you don't have them in heavy shade. <clears throat> and quite honestly, the best defense against uh, hive beetles is a healthy colony. The bees will take care of them. <clears throat> okay. This is a frame grabber, I think. I don't, I don't know what the technical term is. Uh, but there we go. Some folks may not want to grab. Uh, what did I do with it? I threw it now. Oh, there it is. Some folks may not want to grab a frame of bees <clears throat> with their hands. And so this, oh, it's stuck in there. <sighs> and I, this is weird because it's not typically the ones that I've seen. And I don't use these folks, so that's why I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But typically you would have it where you would squeeze and it would grab the frame. So I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not sure on this one. I'm going to have to do some additional research. If any of you have used one of these, uh, <clears throat> let me know in the comments because this does not appear to work the way I think it would work. And I don't think I want to bend it that way. So, again, I was expecting maybe it... I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. If you, if you know how to use this, let me know. Okay. Ooh, hive tools. <coughs> we got a couple in here. Wow. These are the two most common hive tools. Uh, if you've watched my videos, I use one like this a lot. Uh, but mine also has that hook on this end. So it's almost like a combo of these two. A hive tool is a, is a leverage tool, so this is meant to manipulate frames, spread frames apart, okay? This does the same thing. You'd spread your frames apart like this, like this. This little curve tool is meant to be able to pry <clears throat> a frame up like this to where you can grab it and pull it up. The The... Advantages and disadvantages of these two, I, I think it's personal preference. I mean, this is sharp, <coughs> excuse me, on the end. And so to scrape off any propolis or beeswax, these are really nice for that purpose. So <coughs> pretty awesome that they give you two hive tools. What is this? I don't know. Y'all know what this is? <coughs> I don't know. Let me know if you know what this is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, bee brush. Okay. <clears throat> I don't use bee brushes, but I know some people that do. And bee brushes are good at making bees mad. No. <laughs> I, I think they're good at making bees mad. But imagine you have a frame what did I, what did I, oh, yeah. okay 
Bees are all over it. <clears throat> and you want to get the bees off. <coughs> Again, I'm sorry, guys. The uh, allergies are getting to me. Eat more honey. So, <laughs> uh, well, there's a bee brush, and you can just lightly brush the bees off, okay? Like this. I find bees get stuck in here, and it makes them really mad. Uh, <laughs> if I want to get bees off a frame, I hold the frame, and I shake them down like that, give them a tap, and that seems to work really well. But there are times where a bee brush is nice if you're trying to gently get bees off of maybe an area. I've had swarms where I try to get bees off of a tree. There are uses for bee brushes. So. And there's, there's plenty of people that like using a bee brush. Okay, this is, okay, uncapping tool. This is for extracting honey. You would pick the, uh, if this was a super frame and you had capped honey on here, you would pick the top of the cappings and that allows you to access the honey so it can go in your extractor. So that is an uncapping tool. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Anybody know what this is? I'd love to love to know. So I, it's a, some type of feeder ah. syrup. Do you put a empty bottle in here and syrup? Uh, is this like a Boardman feeder it's supposed to? Ah. I don't know. <clears throat> if you know what that is, let me know. Oh, this is cool. Same thing. This is a uh, uncapping tool here. That's a little loose. <clears throat> uh, same thing. If you had capped honey here, you use this. Just like that. Uncaps all the honey. It's nice to have one of these. Those are uh, super simple to use. Okay, we have a queen marker <clears throat> device. <coughs> so, the way these work, it's like a plunger. You put your queen, you grab your queen, place her inside here, put the plunger down, flip it over so that the queen is here, slowly press her up, and you trap her up against here so that her abdomen is in one of these little squares, and then you take your marking pen and you're able, not abdomen, thorax. You take your marking pen and you're able to mark her thorax in here. I've not used this particular brand or style, so I can't really uh, speak to it, but <clears throat> I've seen others use ones like this and they seem to work just fine. <sighs> I feel like I should know what this is, but I don't. I've never used one of these. So, um, once again, if you know what this is, please let me know. <laughs> Uh, this is a queen cage. Okay. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. Get your queen in there. You can put some candy on the end here where she has to break, or the <clears throat> worker bees have to eat their way to get access to her. So that's a queen cage. Uncapping knife. It's nice. That's sharp too. So plenty of different ways to uncap your honey with this kit. So an uncapping knife, you would... It's a sawing action for the cappings. And all that wax would fall off, and then you would expose the honey if you had a frame of capped honey. So this is called an uncapping knife. If you've watched my honey extraction videos, I have an electric uncapping knife, which just puts some heat to it and makes the job even easier. Oh, they've got another cage in here, so they give you a couple. <coughs> I don't know. Anybody know what these are? Little cylinders stuffed with cardboard. I, I don't know. They're very generous on everything they put in here. I mean, my goodness. Um, I think this is the last piece here. 
Oh, I bet this is the smoker. <clears throat> yep. Well, that's a nice looking smoker. All right, with a uh, bellow. Oop. This little piece of metal just keeps the bellow um, closed, but. Very cool. Nice smoker. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, maybe a synthetic leather, leather there. Um, no, it's a good looking smoker. It's got this little uh, plate that you bend these little feet down, these tabs, and then it sits down in there. I don't use it in mine, although I probably should. What it does is it keeps your fuel separate from the hot ambers or the coals down in the bottom so it doesn't smother the coals. And you get just a much, <clears throat> I don't know, sort of consistent smoke from that. I've had success without using one of those, um, but I've also had trouble when I've not used one before. So... Uh, this is actually a really nice, really nice smoker. So cool. <clears throat> so that's it. Wow. <clears throat> really nice, uh, generous <coughs> beekeeping kit. Put the top cover on here. Do they have the, oh, I don't see the Maybe Hives logo on this one. Huh. They had it on the other deeps. I'm looking at them over here uh, that they sent me. It's interesting. They don't have it on the front here. <clears throat> I think they should have done that. So what are my thoughts? <clears throat> well, holy cow, they, they give you a lot for this kit. Uh, I believe <clears throat> I'll put a description to their website, a link, uh, a description. I'll put a link down in the description to their website, <clears throat> I think this particular kit retails for about $80. All things considered, when you're getting a full deep, 10 frames, bottom board, inner cover, outer cover, heavily waxed, queen excluder, smoker, bee brush, marking pen, three to four different ways to uncap your honey, two hive tools, Several items, I'm not sure what they do. <laughs> Beetle blasters. Uh, again, 10 frames with foundation that's pretty substantially whacked. A veil. Leather gloves. All for 80 bucks. I mean, uh, frame holder. I, I don't know how you beat that. I, I literally don't know how you beat that price. Um, and I, from what I can tell, everything looks of good quality. I mean, as far as the construction of the woodenware, the foundation, the, the actual frames. I mean, I already put all their stuff together in a previous video on that double deep. This stuff fits together great. The, the pine that this is made out of is, is great quality. I mean... I don't, you don't see any knots in this stuff. I mean, it is good quality pine. You just need to glue it, brat it together. Um, the foundation, as far as I can tell, looks as good as Acorn Foundation. I mean, honestly, or Premier, it's got a nice coat of wax on it. The bees are going to want to, you know, immediately start drawing. Um, I, honestly, folks, I mean, these... Hive tools, just like the ones that I have, I I don't know how they give you all of this for that price. I, I think uh, it's a steal, to be honest with you. So as long as these this stuff and these hives hold up in the elements, and you, you can bet that I'll do a follow-up video in a few years, maybe two, three years, when I get this equipment out into the yard and truly put it to the test. Because, you know, yeah, 
it, it, it looks great right out of the box, right? But the real test is going to see how it holds up in the elements. But I have every indication to think that it's going to work out just fine. But I don't want, you know, to say, you know, it's the bee's knees, no pun intended. And then I put it out in the yard and it doesn't hold up. It looks to me like it would hold up just fine. I don't, I don't see any major flaws or anything that uh, in this kit or in the construction of these hives that would give me pause to say I would pass on this. Um, I, I, again, my recommendation would be yes. You know, the, the, the veil that came with it, it's okay. I, I don't think I will use this because I personally like my, my bee suits better. But I like it that they give at least an option for a new beekeeper as far as PPE, right? To put a full bee jacket in this kit or a bee suit, would I, I'm sure it would raise the price uh, substantially. I mean, I, I think I paid close to $200 for my Ultra Breeze, just the suit itself. And everything you're looking at here was $80. So, you know... Um, Again, you know, the, the uncapping knife, sharp, by all accounts, looks like it would hold up well. Um, these are the exact same ones that I've seen in others. You know, this the handle here is not like super high quality, not like some of the Pierce beekeeping supply uncapping knives like the one I have. You can tell it's a little higher quality, but of course, you know, you're paying for that. But as far as the woodenware, I mean... Look at these top bars. I mean, they all look fantastic. I mean, the 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 wood itself, zero complaints whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, if I was a brand new beekeeper, I would seriously consider looking and ordering from maybe hives because the <clears throat> quality to price ratio is off the charts. Uh, I don't know how you beat these prices. I mean. A lot of the stuff around here, if you were to get that, like that too deep, maybe hive kit that they, that, that they sent me, <clears throat> or even this one, you're in for several hundred dollars. I mean, I tell new beekeepers plan on spending about a thousand dollars in your first year. That's your, your bees, your equipment, everything. Mites treat, mite treatments, everything, you know, honey extracting equipment, where even if you try to skimp by, I think you can expect to spend about a thousand dollars in your first year. This could make it much cheaper, quite honestly. Um, <clears throat> you could, you could, you could order quite a bit from maybe hives, and it would go a long way. And again, by all accounts, it looks like it would last a while. I mean, even this smoker, I'm telling you right now, I can already tell is about ten times better than the one I started with. Now, I, I really like the one that I use now, but this one is already in you know ten times upgrade from the very first smoker that I used, which was. <clears throat> it left a lot to be desired. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put a link, like I said, down in the description. Please be sure to check out their website. They have a lot to offer. <clears throat> Obviously, there's a lot more than just this kit. They have eight frame kits as well. Uh, and please, some of the items here that I'm not sure exactly what they were, I'm sure my audience knows. So please let me know in the comments because I'm sitting here kind of like scratching my head on some of these. So, all right. <clears throat> well, I, I think that's it. I apologize for the hacking and coughing, but you know, tis the season. We are in spring here and stuff is blooming, which is great for the bees, but not so good for us humans that have uh, seasonal allergies. So I think I'm going to go uh, take some more allergy medication <laughs> because clearly it's starting to bother me. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to beekeeping or thinking about getting into beekeeping, I think you should give Maybe Hives a serious consideration because I think your money will go a long way in terms of what you can get. And, and from what I can tell, the, the quality, at least on several of this stuff, is as good as some of the uh, boxes that I'm buying from, you know, Dayton or Man Lake or some of the, some of the most, you know, top of the line better be, uh, vendors and manufacturers of bee equipment out there, I can't tell a substantial or noticeable difference. In fact, some of the, th these boxes are actually looks as far as construction outperforming some of the other 
what I would say nearby, somewhat local <clears throat> bargain brand equipment that I have seen. So yeah, definitely at least, you know, peruse the website, maybe hives.com and uh, see what they have to offer. So I hope you like this video and I'll catch you on the next one.